Well, in continuing with the long history of the Catholic Church regarding their perverted priests and their perverted clergy, and just the overall history of sexual perversion, uh, especially with the Satanic Jesuit Order too, this is uh, the Satanic Jesuit, essentially the Jesuit Satanic Ritual Abuse Cases, uh, they're widening and the victims are speaking out and there is witnesses being called up as well. Because this, this is a long history that goes back a long way with the Satanic cult that are the Jesuit Order. Uh, and because they're just mirroring essentially because Roman Catholicism is just repackaged Greco-Roman heathenism and as you as pretty much everybody knows the Greco-Roman uh, culture was just rife with all kinds of perversion so the, the Roman Catholic Church and the Jesuit order are just continuing on that tradition being the spiritual you know the, the spiritual uh, essentially spiritual descendants of the old religion I'll put it that way but it says here on uh, Reuters News, Jesuit abuse case widens as victim speaks. Orders seek, or sorry, order seeks witnesses. Yeah, because their their dark deeds are being brought to light. The satanic cult of the Jesuit order it says here on the article, a case of a case of sexual abuse rattling the Jesuits has widened with a former nun describing how her complaints against a prominent priest were ignored, and as the religious order urged others to come forward with any new evidence. The woman, now 58, told a respected Italian investigative newspaper, Domani, on Sunday that her alleged abuse by father, you know, call no man father, Matthew 23, verse 9, but of course the Catholic Church overthrows that by their uh, their traditions of men. Father Marco Ivan Rupnik, a, Slo a Slovenian priest known in the church for his artwork. Yeah. And yet, yet you know, they're, they're, gonna, they're calling witnesses out, but really it's like, you know, it's a little kind of nod as in, oh, don't worry, we care about the victims, but really the Jesuit order is, you know, has a history of protecting these perverted uh, priests. These, pedo these you know, abusive priests. But it says here, she described how the priests used psycho-spiritual control over her some three decades ago to have fornication, basically, and uh, including group fornication and watch pornographic films at the time. He was a spiritual director of a covenant in Slovenia. Uh, Rupnik is at the center of a scandal that has engulfed the Jesuits, the Catholic Order of Priests and Brothers, uh, of which Pope Francis is a member. The order statements has, have been contradictory, leaving many questions unanswered. Some top Jesuits have called for a full review how, of how the order and the Vatican have handled the case. I need to point this thing out as well, the on thing of pornography and fornication. This is precisely why uh, the uh, basically God tells clergy, you know, biblical clergy, the biblical bishop, because there is no priesthood other than the priesthood of the believers, but you have the office of a bishop. This is precisely why God says that the bishop has to be married and have kids. And also in 1 Corinthians 7 verse 1 to 2, Paul says that to avoid fornication you get married. You see, the forced celibacy of the priesthood, the Catholic priesthood, is a, a very main root cause of a lot of the perversion that goes on behind closed doors, because it's blatantly unscriptural. And by the way, 1 Timothy uh, 4 verse 1 to 5 says it's actually a doctrine of devils to command, to, to uh, abstain from marriage, to command, you know, forbidding to marry. You can choose to remain celibate, but if someone is forcing it on you as like some kind of religious dogma, it's a doctrine of devils. But you see, this forced celibacy of the Catholic priesthood is precisely why these priests are into all kinds of perversion. Because that lack of, you know, normal relationship with the wife, which is commanded of a bishop, First Timothy chapter three, ver oh, sorry, yeah, First Timothy chapter three, verse one to seven, lays out the qualification. Says the husband of one wife. There's no, there's no ground for any kind of celibate, for celibacy, even among laymen, let alone the clergy, of the biblical church, not the Roman Catholic, you know, false Christianity that it is. But it's precisely why they have all kind, all these problems. This unscriptural doctrine of devil is known as the forced celibacy of the priesthood. But you see, once again, Catholic tradition overthrows the word of God. But it says here in the article, it was only it was only after media reports about Rupnik alleged abuse of nuns did Jesuit headquarters issue a statement on December second saying he had been disciplined. It said it had commissioned an unnamed non-Jesuit to investigate Rupnik, who is 68 years old. After the Vatican received the complaint last year, the Jesuits put restrictions on his ministry. The Jesuits gave the results to the Vatican doctrinal department, which closed the case in October, citing the statute of limitations. The Jesuits kept in place restrictions barring Rupnik from hearing confessions or leading spiritual retreats. Well, too a little too late, in my opinion, because, well, you've been doing this for a long time. And they only do it when, you know, victims start to come out. Because chances are they're covering this up for years. And then, of course, when victims start to come out, well, their dark Jesuit deeds are brought to light. It says on December 7th, Jesuit leader Father Arturo Sosa had said nothing had been hidden, but later contradicted himself. A timeline released by the Jesuits on Sunday showed that a, se a separate process had taken place years earlier, between 2018 and 2020, which resulted in Rupnik's excommunication. 
There was the case involved in absolution of an accomplice in confession, uh, referring to when a priest had fornication with someone and then absolves the person of the sin. The timeline showed that the Vatican imposed the excommunication on May 2020 and lifted it the same month after Rupnik repented. The information released by the Jesuits did not show any attempt to discipline Rupnik more severely or to defra defrock him. Um, what does 1 Corinthians chapter 5 say about the, you know, the, the man who commits sexual perversion? Do you throw him out of the church? Okay, repents, yeah, but they have all kinds of contradictions in their statement, you know. But of course, what should we expect from Mystery Babylon, you know, the Roman Catholic Church and their satanic little Jesuit order that they are? Plain and simple. They only, they only you know, rebuke these priests and, and expose them when victims come out and say, this is what he did to me. And when enough victims come out, they're kind of forced to have to make a statement. But... Again, this is just a long history, just keeping in their tradition of the Greco-Roman heathens that they are. They're just following in that tradition of sexual perversion. And again, this forced celibacy, this blatantly unscriptural doctrine of devils of the forced celibacy of the priest is the, one of the main root causes of all kinds of perversion in the, their uh, unscriptural priesthood. But just more examples of the satanic cult that are the Jesuit order and the Roman Catholic Church. So don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.